Good night, dear listeners. I want to say a special hello to Rennie. I really hope you are not kept up too late on Wednesday night. Now, tell me something, folks. Do you believe in ghosts? Sometimes I do. Maybe influenced by the fantasy movies and books I love to read. But on a real life day, no. Today I could barely focus at work and that was all Gina's fault. She sent me a message and a video. And let me tell you, by the time I was finished reading and watching, I wanted to jump in my car and abandon my responsibilities. The town of Bethany must be feeling a little uneasy right now. One of its residents, Richard, claimed he saw Archibald last night walking across the bridge that connects Bethany to a village called Worthington. But Mr. John wasn't heading to Worthington. The video Gina sent me was recorded this morning and it shows Richard shaking like a leaf in a storm. One woman was rubbing his head with alkalata. One was poking the tip of a bottle of smelling salt so far up his nose, it looked like she was giving him a PCR test. People around kept telling him to calm down, calm down. Archibald John is dead and gone. But this Richard was adamant that he saw Marcy's husband and he was wearing a gray pinstripe suit with a red hibiscus tucked into the breast pocket. There was a pause in the muttering and stroopsing and I could see a few people quietly walking away from the group. A couple men shouted that Richard had to be drunk and one of them leaned in to sniff his breath. The man shook his head and announced he couldn't smell anything. To me, this Richard didn't look drunk or crazy. The poor man was frightened out of his skin. The video ended with two men agreeing to go and look for the alleged dead man walking. But folks, I have to tell you, these men have not been seen since. The police conducted a search, but so far only their cell phones have been found. They were discovered in a bushy area near the bridge. Where did those men disappear to in the broadest of daylight? Are they playing a prank on their neighbors? I don't think anyone would find it funny at all. There is speculation Mr. John took them away because they owed him money and he has come back for his dues. Cash or pounds of flesh? Look, corpses don't get bored and leave their graves and get dressed up. There has to be a logical explanation for what is happening in Bethany. Or maybe I should say, I hope there is a logical explanation. I am exhausted. I've spent the past five days hatching theories and none of them have borne fruit. Do you have theories of your own? If you do, please, please share. Look for Black Pines broadcast on IG and drop a comment. And my dear Renee, if you are still listening, 
I don't think this journey is going to get less creepier or bumpy. Black Pines, I hope you tune in on Monday and that maybe, just maybe this mystery would be solved by then and those men would have been found. I bid you a good night. Thanks for listening.